Hey everyone, welcome to Cam Keyframe Presents 12 Days of Christmas 2021, where I create tutorials 12 days in a row and give away the project files for free on my Patreon page. The link is in the description down below. And today is day number two. I'm going to show you how you can recreate this 3D kind of a house effect with only 2D layers. So this house is, if you press play, the house is moving from side to side and it looks like you're, like the camera is shifting uh, perspective or something. And these are all just simple vector 2D layers. So I'm going to show you how you do this. I've duplicated the composition here with no movement at all. And uh, you can download the project files, of course, in the description down below. So you also get the Illustrator file and there you can have all of these separate shapes and import them here. Or you can just open this one up and follow along. And uh, what I did here is, um, if you have this shape here, I put the anchor point at the right side here. You can do that by clicking on your pen behind tool and then just moving your anchor point. If you hold shift, uh, no, sorry, uh, click on snapping first. And then if you don't uh, place it here, you don't need to hold shift. It will snap to the side here. And what we're going to do first is we're going to animate this wall first. And what we're going to use is the scaling tool because we need to flip this around to this side kind of. And we have the same wall back here. It's housed right here. It's the same uh, thing. I'm going to turn off snapping. Um, I'm going to go to house left and house right and press S on my keyboard, click on the stopwatch and then go a bit further in time. And then for this one, it says uh, I clicked, uh, I turned off this link because if I scale this up, you can see that the whole thing scales. If I click this off, if I turn it off, it will only scale in one direction uh, like Harry Styles. And then uh, it's at 100 percent right now. So I'm going to drag that down to zero, but it needs to flip the other way around. So we need to go further. So let's add minus 100. So then we have this flip to the right. You can't see it, but you can see it when I you do it like this. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing with this one. This is already at 100, minus 100 because I flipped it earlier. So place it over there and make this 100. So it flips to that side. So now we, if I single out those two layers, you can see that we have this movement. Right. Then we're going to we, we don't we don't animate this uh, front of the house, uh, but we're going to animate the back of the roof and the front of the roof. So let's do the uh, front of the roof first. I'm going to open it up and go to my contents group one path one and click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe for the path animation. Um, doesn't matter where your where your um, anchor point is here because we're not going to scale it. We're going to change the design of this, change the path. I'm going to click and uh, select both of these points at the, at the top so I can move them around. I'm going to hold shift and click and drag them to the right side to make this uh, curve and like align line this up here so it has the same uh, s um, slope, I don't know. So same diagonal, I don't know. Uh, so now we have that, so that moves along with the house properly. Okay, that looks good. Good, now we're going to do the back side of the roof. It's at the bottom here. Open that up, contents, group one, path one, click. And then we're going to select these layers, uh, all of them, and drag them over here to match this one. And then these two need to go over here, of course. And I think this uh, stretches out a bit too much here, so this part is bigger than this part. So we're gonna go back to the front of the roof select all of these points and turn them to the left a little bit and then the house here as well let's just turn this to that side and yeah that looks great you can do this by using rulers like this and do it perfectly but i'm just going to do it quick right now um let's turn that ruler off there all right so we've got this movement right now which is the basic idea kind of we have a lot of uh movement already like a 3d effect and we're going to do the uh, like the simple stuff first let's have this this stuff like position a little bit to the right so position here and go to the same space in time for the keyframes and we're gonna um, this one a little bit and this one a bit further like that so we have that movement as well to make it feel more 3d let's have the tree go a bit further so we have this kind of a parallax idea going on here Nice, let's do the chimney now. So we have the chimney in the front. And I'm going to give that a position because this one needs to go to the right here. So I'm going to uh, posi um, uh, parent all the other stuff of the chimney to the chimney front. So parent that all. So now we have this one shape here. Press P for position. And then over here, we're going to drag that to the right. 
we can tune that later so it fits the proper it's a, it's a proper position and we're going to uh, go to this left side here and change the path of that as well so content group one path path and then over here we need to move these two points to the middle so we're going to hold shift and press the right arrow button I'm going to zoom out here hold shift press the right arrow button one two three four and then two or three back and then one two three four and one two three back so that's how i use uh, quickly uh, create the same space so it uh, it looks good um do the same thing with this chimney right side is this, this the same thing open this up group one path one path and you can also just do it do it just regularly like this so it looks good but i just like to do it like this like one two three and one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three and then uh, four five six seven eight nine you can do it like that so it's kind of more a bit more perfect so that looks good already then we need this top part here and we've got this little part and we got this little part and then we've got this little part in the back i should go to delete that little part in the back and do the right here and this one i'm going to alter the shape let's open this up contents group one rectangle path right click convert to bezier path so then i can alter these points i'm just going to drag that over here and the only thing we need to do now is the chimney top here position and then position that to no it's already okay we don't need to, to position that we're going to position this right thing here so p position and then over here like that and then we have the 3D chimney. Nice. Okay, looks great. Then what we can do is do the same thing with this with these stairs here. So let's zoom in a bit. Oh, not here. Right over there. And we're gonna click on these stairs. Uh, where are they? Here. We have the stairs top, the bottom, and then the right side and the left side. So this one is also we have the um, anchor point on the right side and for this left one as well. So for these two, we're going to open up the scale, click, and then over here, we're going to put this at minus 100. Boom. So they are flipped around. And for these two stairs here, we're going to go to position and then just place. Oh, it's only, only need this one, of course. Like that. We don't need this one. So then we have that. And then for this uh, window stuff, it's the same thing here. Uh, let's go to the P for position, like this. And then over here. Oh, we need to, um, what do we need to do? No, we need to, it's really easy. We only need to go for position, yes. And then uh, move this to the left here. And I'm gonna do the same with this one as well. Let's do it at the same time. So they both move equally. And these two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Without holding shift, that was the last one. So uh, nice. So we have the window moving as well. And then, of course, this whole uh, stairs needs to it re it moves to the right, but needs to stay in the in the correct place here. So we're going to go to the stairs here. Where are they? Here. And for the stairs top, no, the bottom, um, because this has, doesn't have any animation yet. We're going to um, parent everything to our bottom here. And the bottom gets a position like this and this. And it goes to the left. So we still get the same. But still, so it stays in place. It only moves perspective. So that works out nicely. All right. And then what we're going to do as well is create a new null object. So layer new null. Or is it null? And then open this up. Yeah, and for here we're gonna have go position, keyframe, and right now we're going to uh, parent everything that isn't already parented to something else to this null. I'm gonna call this movement. So I'm gonna select everything and then uncheck the null and all the stuff that is already um, parented to something. So this one, these two, yeah, and parent that the the floor can stay parent that to our movement now. So now this moves, oops, this moves everything. So while everything is moving 
to the right kind of we're gonna have this thing move to the left to counter that uh, counter that move so now it looks better a little bit so we're going to press u to open everything up and hover over this and press the tilde key to full screen it select everything and we need to add a easing effect to it so uh, right click easing assistant easy ease and then kind of like this looks good like it's going to a bit slower and faster than slow but to do this for all of this i'm just going to select all of this and use my plugin use a plugin that i have called flow and i'm going to give this a expo and then boom apply so it applies that to all of these so now it looks like this it can take a little bit longer it's a bit too fast for my taste like this so there you have it that is the uh, house movement and on this one i've actually um, positioned this a uh, lot more so this really slides from the right to the left so you could just play with this so slide it to the right and then all the way to the mm, left here so we had a bit of a big uh, a bigger difference like that uh, and i've also added this window here which just the only thing that this window does here is a position and a scale so it positions so it's over there like on this back house here uh, on the right side here so it's in the middle of that and then it slides position to this side and it also scales from 100 to one minus 100 so it kind of so it, here you can see here it uh, definitely gives away that it's not a 3d layer because it's really flat on this side so just but because of the movement is so fast you don't really um, notice it too much but that's also a little effect to add in there so this is how you create uh, a 3d um, pan effect like this let me full screen that here. So this looks kind of cool. Um, yeah, nice. So that wraps it up for day number two. If you would like to download the project files for this video, head on over to the description box down below and click on the link for the Patreon page. There I will upload all of the project files for free. And while you're there, maybe consider subscribing to the Patreon channel as well for even more cool stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.